They're in the gate. And they're off. There goes Sadie Lady out for the early lead. Fair Regis is down at the rail, running in second. Into Chocolate is next in third. Then Phantom Shot in fourth, followed by Cobra Sophie. And Gypsy Janie is the early trailer in sixth. The leader is Sadie Lady in front by a length and a half. With Into Chocolate giving chase in second. Fair Regis down on the inside in third. The quarter went in 22 and four. Gypsy Janie is on the move on the outside and now into fourth, five lengths from the front. At the back of the two long shots, Phantom Shot and Cobra Sophie. It is Sadie Lady with the lead here by two. Into Chocolate in second, then Fair Regis in third. Now Gypsy Janie has tailed off a bit. The half and 45 and three as the field comes into the stretch. And it is Sadie Lady holding on to a narrow lead here in between horses. Into Chocolate. On the outside, it's Fair Regis. Into Chocolate. Fair Regis. They are now 1-2 with a 16th of the finish. Into Chocolate on the inside. Fair Regis on the outside. The two of them come down to the finish. Into Chocolate. Wins the opener on closing day. Fair Regis was second. Sadie Lady faded to third. Number four, Into Chocolate, was first. Number one, Fair Regis, second. Number five, Sadie Lady, finished third. And number six, Phantom Shot, was fourth. Four, one, five, six. Time of the race, one minute, nine and two-fifths seconds. Into Chocolate, Into the Winner's Circle. A four-year-old bay filly by Into Mischief. Out of Candy Drawer by Candy Ride. Into Chocolate is owned by Martin and Pam Wygod. Trained by Bill Mott. And they're off. Bustin' Bieber busts right out of there and is out for the early lead. But he has quick company as Looking for Trouble moves up on the outside with a war call. So it's Looking for Trouble and War Call, and they are right together. They've opened up two and a half lengths on Thin White Duke, who has taken third. Boston Bieber is now back running in fourth. Cotton is fifth, almost four lengths. Back to Hold the Salsa. Eight wings long is the trailer in seventh. The quarter in 22 and two, and it's a battle up front. On the inside, Looking for Trouble, and on the outside is War Call. Looking for trouble. Now with the lead. War call is second. Then it's Thin White Duke and Cotton down towards the rail. They're in the stretch. Looking for trouble has opened up on the field. It is looking for trouble with a four-length lead and an eighth of a mile to the finish. Then Thin White Duke and Cotton as War Call drops out of it. Looking for trouble. Trying to hang in there for another 16th. Thin White Duke. And here comes Hold the Salsa with a late move on the outside. Hold the Salsa from well off the pace to win it at a price.
She's a lumberjane about to step up to complete the field. And we are set for race number three. And they're off. Day board away well and out for the lead. On the extreme outside is She's a Lumberjane. Now moving up in between horses is Wear My Ring. Barbara P. is down at the rail. And Toxicologist is up close. Then it's Heartstrings. And for the back, Bella Invasion trails the field in seventh. It is Day Board with the lead here by a half length. And it's the trio of Wear My Ring and Toxicologist. And she's a Lumberjane. Barbara P. is racing in fifth, but just two and a half lengths from the lead. Then Heartstrings and Bella Invasion. The quarter went in 23 and 1. Day Board shows the way here as they approach the far turn. Now Day Board kicks clear here to lead by two. And Toxicologist second by a head. Wear My Ring in between horses. Down at the rail is long shot Barbara P, who now has moved up to third. Where my ring is back in fourth, alongside his heartstrings. She's a lumberjane and the trailer Bella Invasion. Half and 46 and three. Day board leads by two. Intoxicologist in second. Down on the inside is a Barbara P. And then heartstrings as the field comes for the top of the stretch. And it is Day Board who's been in front right from the start. Manny Franco took a peek back. And the competition is three lengths away. And heartstrings is now moving up on the outside. It is Day Board with the lead. The lead is down to two lengths. The rider lost the whip there on Day Board. Heartstrings is all out in second, coming for the 16th pole. And Day Board will do it here in front running style. Day Board at the end, a three and a half length winner. Heartstrings was second farther back in Toxicologist and Barbara Pay. Number four, Day Board was first. Number two, Heartstring second. Number seven, and Toxicologist finished third. And number one, Barbara P was fourth. Results not official. Four, two, seven, and one. The mile in one minute, 37 and three fifth seconds. Returning now, number four, Day Board, three-year-old Dark Bay or Brown Philly, by Central Banker, out of Last Rendezvous by Bates Motel. Day Board, owned by West Point Thoroughbreds, trained by George Weaver. And we are set for race number four. And they're off. And it is Prince Halo who's going for the lead. Click attack came away well. In between horses, high tone now moves up. So it is three of them across the track for the lead. Pier 40 is down on the inside and racing in a fourth. As the field moves up the back stretch. In between horses, it is high tone. On the outside, it's Prince Halo. Click attack is down at the rail and click attack takes a narrow lead over the other two. Then it's a break of four. Back to Pier 40, who's racing in fourth. On the outside is Mitzrayim, next in fifth. Then it's Gatto Moroni in sixth, followed by Michael's Bad Boy in seventh. Sid Finch is running in eighth. Hurricane Andrew is next in ninth. It's another five lengths. Back to the two trailers, and they are Petrus and Tailspin.
The quarter went in 23 and 1, the half in 46 and 3, and it is the favorite, Click a Tat, who leads here by three quarters of a length. High tone in second. Big long shot, Prince Halo on the outside in third. Mitzrayim is in fourth and gaining some ground. Uh, then it's Pier 40, who's down at the rail in fifth position. Michael's Bad Boy is now moving up a spot from six. They're at the top of the stretch, and it is Click a Tat with the lead. High tone right there on the outside. Three quarters went in one, 11, and two. It's Click a Tat at the rail. High tone on the outside, and Mitzrayim in third as they pass the eighth pole. Click a Tat trying to hold on. Mitzrayim is the new challenger on the outside. It's Click a Tat and Mitzrayim, and the two of them will battle it out to the wire, and it's a photo finish. Photo finish in the first leg of today's Empire Six. Off. Tenure broke well from the extreme outside. Ellen Z now moves up on the way to Neverland. On the way to Neverland takes the lead. Ellen Z is running in second with Fooch and Tenure right together, third and fourth. Then it's Bourbon Mission who's racing in fifth. On the outside is Cavaradosi in sixth. Bourbon Currency is in seventh. Le General runs in eighth. Variant Perception is in ninth. And Coral Legacy trails the field in tenth. On the way to Neverland, ran the opening quarter in 22 and 2, pressured here by long shot Ellen Z. On the way to Neverland, leads three quarters of a length. Ellen Z on the outside is second by two. Then it's Fooch and Tenure, right together third and fourth. Cavaradosi on the extreme outside runs in fifth. Bourbon Mission and Bourbon Currency are right together. Then Le General, Variant Perception, and Coral Legacy, the half in 45 and three-fifth seconds. On the way to Neverland and LNZ. Fooch is coming on now from third. Tenure's there on the outside. Bourbon Currency looks to rally down at the rail. Then it's Variant Perception and Cavaradosi. Here is a Tenure on the outside of Fooch. Fooch and Tenure, another photo finish. Variant Perception. Perception, a close third in race five as we start the late pick five.
Number six, Fooch, was first. Number 11, Tenure, finished second. Number four, Variant Perception, was third. And number five, Coral Legacy, was fourth. Results unofficial. Six, eleven, four, and five. Time of the race, one minute, nine and one-fifth seconds. Number six is Fooch, a six-year-old bay gelding by Gemologist, out of Cassandra J by Bluegrass Cat. Fooch is owned and trained by Wesley Ward, the rider Dylan Davis. Line. And we're set for race six on the Sunday car. And they're off. An RC Angel was away well from the extreme outside. Any day is her day is there, along with Amos and a Freddie Mo Factor as they move up the back stretch. It is Freddie Mo Factor in between horses. Canarsie Angel on the outside and Amos towards the rail. Then it's Crater Rim who's running next in fourth, followed by Ancient Brown in fifth. Far outside, it's Honey Bunnardini in sixth. Moana's Angel is down on the inside in seventh, and it's Drynakin in eighth, passed by Violent Point. And then we come back to uh, Any Day is Her Day. Alongside is Papari. And Dancing with Daffodils is the trailer in 12th. The quarter in 23 seconds. Freddie Moe Factor, big long shot here, leads by almost two lengths. With Canarsie Angel running in second. Then Amos and Violent Point heads apart third and fourth. Moana's Angel is down on the inside. Next in fifth. Far outside, it is Papari. Then Any Day is Her Day. And moving back in the uh, pack there is Honey Bunner Dini. Half mile in 46 and three fifth seconds. It is Amos on the inside. And on the outside, it is Freddie Bo Factor with Canarsie Angel racing in third. Then Violent Point in fourth as they move past the eighth pole. Amos is the leader. Dancing with Daffodils, who was last, is putting in a big late run. Here is Dancing with Daffodils. A last to first winner. Amos finished second, then Freddie Mo Factor and Drynakin. Number one, Dancing with Daffodils was first. Number seven, Amos, second. Number nine, Freddie Mo Factor finished third. And number eight, Drynakin was fourth. Results unofficial. One, seven, nine, eight. Time of the race, one minute, 24 seconds. They're all in. Off. From mid-pack, Macho Boy away well. Down on the inside, it is Painter's Prize. And those two are heads apart for the early lead. Then it's the North Remembers. In between horses, Southern Brigade. Bobby from the Palm down at the rail is in fifth. 
And then it is running for home on the outside in six. The break of three to Violent Delights, who's seventh at this point. At the back of the pack is Awesome Adversary and King of American. Long shot Painter's Prize ran the quarter in 23 seconds and steps away here to lead by two and a half lengths. Macho Boy running in second. The North remembers Bobby from the Palm heads apart third and fourth. Running for home is in fifth. And then it is Southern Brigade in sixth. The break of two to uh, Violent Delights who's about nine lengths from the front. On his inside is Awesome Adversary, and the King of American is the trailer. The half 46 and two, Painter's Prize. Macho Boy now getting closer on the outside, and Running for Home has gained ground. Running for Home is moving up on the outside to a challenge for the lead. And then it's Bobby from the Palm, who's just in behind the front three. As the North remembers, drops back. Now Violent Delights begins to pick it up. Still a half dozen lengths from the lead. And running for home has taken over the lead. Macho Boy is in second. Bobby from the Palm on the outside in third. And Violent Delights and Painter's Prize. Three quarters went in 11 and four. And here is Bobby from the Palm now to take over from running for home. Bobby from the Palm in front with just the 16th to the finish. Bobby from the Palm opening up here in deep stretch. It is Bobby from the Palm, one by three and a half lengths. Running for home was second. Violent Delights finished third, and Southern Brigade was fourth. Number two, Bobby from the Palm was first. Number 10, running for home second. Number seven, Violent Delights finished third. And number four, Southern Brigade was fourth. Results not official. 2-10, 7-4. Final time, one minute, 44 seconds. Number two is Bobby from the Palm, a a three-year-old chestnut gelding by Overanalyze, out of Tomato Lady by Yonaguska. Bobby from the Palm is owned by Thomas Broccoli. A training double for George Weaver, seeking revenge, moves into line. We are set for the eighth, the River Memory Stakes. And they're off. Bobel, Lemon Zip. And Olympic Games, and those three go out for the lead, and they're joined on the outside by Civil Union as they uh, come past us and head for the line the first time. It is Bobell in front. Lemon Zip runs in second on the outside. Civil Union is next in third. And then it is Olympic Games, who's racing in fourth. Far outside now, and there goes Seeking Revenge. Oh, there goes Pallas Athene as the field goes into the... Clubhouse turn. Bobell's the leader. Palace Athene has moved into second. And Lemon Zip is next in third. Civil Union is alongside in fourth. Followed at the rail by a Dinah Passer in fifth. Alongside is Olympic Games in sixth. And then it's Beale Street who's running in seventh. 
and we gets the monies and seeking revenge along with red curls the quarter went in 24 and 2 they are rounding the turn and heading for the back stretch and it is Bo bell the leader here by three quarters of a length palace athene runs in second civil union on the outside in third the half mile in 50 seconds lemon zip is in fourth a little more than three lengths from the lead then it is olympic games who's alongside in fifth and they're followed by a Dinah Passer at the rail in sixth. Beale Street in between horses in seventh. Up on the outside is Seeking Revenge. Then it's the gray. We gets the monies. And Red Curls is at the back. And they're midway up the back stretch. Three quarters in 16 and four. Bo Bell is the leader here with Palace Athene and Civil Union second and third. So up front positions unchanged. Lemon Zip is down at the rail in fourth. And Olympic Games is alongside in fifth. Then it's the uh, trio of Dinah Passer, Beale Street, and on the outside, Seeking Revenge. Then We Gets the Monies. Farther back is Red Curls. They're midway around the far turn. Bo Bell here, Civil Union, up on the outside now to challenge. Civil Union and Bo Bell. Palace Athene is in third. Olympic Games is just in behind the front runners in fourth. Lemon Zip has had a good trip down towards the rail in fifth. And then it is Dinah Passer in sixth, and we gets the monies. The field is in the stretch. It is Civil Union, Bo Bell, and here's Olympic Games now on the outside. So it is Civil Union and Olympic Games with Dinah Passer out in the middle of the course in third. It's Civil Union holding off Olympic Games. Civil Union wins the mile and a half. River Memories, Civil Union over Olympic Games. Number seven, Civil Union was first. Number six, Olympic Games second. Number three, Bo Bell was third. And number one, Dinah Passer fourth. Results unofficial. Seven, six, three, one. The time, two minutes, 29 and two fifth seconds. Baby girl, the last of 11, and we are set for the finale. And they're off. Hesitant start there for uh, Molly's shrink. She is now moving up. Dream Chasing is out for the early lead. Baby girl's on the outside running in second, and Pippi is next in third. Pay Knight is alongside in fourth. Uh, Saratoga Lullaby gains on the outside from fifth. Uh, then we come back to uh, Key Pit. Down on the inside is Magical Romance, who's running in seventh. And then is High School Crush, next in eighth. Farther back is Gotta Be Bold, passed there by Empress Luciana, and the trailer is Molly Shrink. The quarter went in 23 seconds. It's Dream Chasing and Baby Girl. Dream Chasing by a half length. Baby Girl's on the outside in second by two. Pippi is running in third. Then Saratoga Lullaby next in fourth, followed by Key Pit and High School Crush. 
and the field is in the stretch. The half in 46 and two-fifth seconds. Here comes Baby Girl right alongside of Dream Chasing. Dream Chasing on the inside. Baby Girl on the outside. Then Pippi and Magical Romance is putting in a late run here. Here comes Magical Romance on the outside. And Magical Romance will take the Belmont finale. Dream Chasing was second. Then Baby Girl and High School Crush. Number three, Magical Romance was first. Number five, Dream Chasing second. Number 12, Baby Girl finished third. Number six, High School Crush was fourth. The results not official. Three, five, 12, and six. The time of the race was one minute 10 and three-fifths seconds.